This is the guy, Opulent LDTV, and I'm back. Look, y'all, I just got word. Just got word that Suge Knight is starting a podcast called Collect Calls with Suge Knight. Man, oh man. Now, first of all, when I first heard this news, I was a little happy. I'm not going to cap. For the most part, I was happy because the first thing that came to my mind was, okay, we're going to get a lot of stories about Tupac, about Death Row. Just a, a lot of details and stories that a lot of us really want to hear. Because for the most part, when Death Row was really operating, for the most part, a lot of us were barely teenagers. I was like, I was literally like 11, 12, 13. We have to put this into perspective. Death Row was really only a powerhouse for four years. Four or five years. But in those four or five years, <laughs> Death Row did a lot. <laughs> Death Row did a, a shit ton to truly cement the record label itself as one of the most legendary uh, labels in the world. But let's not get it confused and say that Suge Knight is bigger than the likes of Baby Birdman Williams. Because as we've seen, Birdman has been extremely, extremely consistent with the business he's done with cash money. But let me digress. This video is about <laughs> Suge Knight. In a new podcast. So, like I just said, I was in, first of all, I was happy about it. We're going to get all these great stories. And, you know, being as a man, having a man's perspective, now I definitely be able to truly understand, understand these stories. But then the other part, <laughs> other thing kicked in my mind like, oh man, this could be truly bad for business. As we know, Suge Knight is already doing time in prison. And as we know, Suge Knight has a huge ego. We also know, or we're also familiar with another individual named Wack 100. And word on the curb is that Wack 100 and Suge Knight, they're not on good terms so with that said I'm assuming that WAC 100 is going to be tuning in to every episode making sure Suge Knight doesn't lie about anything that he knows about or else he's going to check him on it so with that said it can really snowball into something extremely bad so that's why i believe this is more curse than gift <laughs> we know whack has a, a huge ego we know he's not backing down from anybody when it comes to uh just this uh what most would say mouth mouth wrestling he's not backing down from nobody but I am still interested in these these great stories that Suge has to tell. Let's hope that he can stay level-headed. Let's hope that he can stay on his mission and intention that he has for his podcast and not get sidetracked. Remember, it's always up to you as the individual to run off the course of your true mission. 
you don't have to entertain a BS. If you're a man who can control your ego, you can consistently look the other way. I mean, we all have egos. I have an ego. I just have complete control over my ego to where I can <laughs> turn it off. Or at least definitely turn it away to fuck down. Let me say it that way. But yeah, family, will not y'all hop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Give me y'all thoughts. Smash that like button. It's free 99 for those who are new here. Smash that sub button. Join the family. Blessings to the mighty LDBC. I am Opelin LDTV, reminding you that when you win these streets, prosper energetically. I'm gone.